What's up YouTube, it's David Taylor here with Robo13. I just want to make a pretty quick video about an update for Discade, and it hasn't really changed too much since my last video, but it's been over a year since I made that video, so I want to show you guys that it still does work on the latest edition of Discade, and you don't have to be registered at all. Uh, as you guys can see down here, it is May 29, 2013, and uh, that's when I'm recording it. So I'm going to open up Discade and show you guys that this is the most up-to-date version this is version 5.46 you guys can see it on their website i'm going to go into here and click check for update just to show everybody that it is the uh, most updated version i'm going to plug in my phone and just in case anybody's wondering this is how to get uh audio music files and basically any other files you want from your device from your phone to your computer apple uh tends to block that for some reason they don't make it very easy to transfer files from your device to your computer because they don't want people copywriting and they're not copywriting stealing other people's music and that kind of stuff uh but if you like built a new computer or you got a new hard drive and all your music is saved on your iphone or your uh, ipad or your ipod touch and you want to get the music from those devices back to your computer and back to your regular itunes this is the best way to do it uh, they don't make it very easy any other way but this is the best way to do it so once you download Discade and plug in your device, you're going to get a screen like this. It's probably going to look more like this. So you guys can see right here that you have all your songs right here. So I have three songs currently downloaded, uh, and they're just some random songs I got from my uh, device. So if you try to drag and drop them from this menu and do it, it'll say that you can only do 20 tracks in trial mode. So if you only have 20 songs, that's perfect. You can do it right there and that you have you don't have to register. Uh, but if you want to get more than 20 songs, which I'm sure a lot of you do, I'm just going to delete this one, you should do it this way. So this is the way you're supposed to do it. Right down here, you guys can see I am not registered. So this is an unregistered version. And I'm going to come down to File System. I'm going to click on that. Then click on Media. Then iTunes underscore Control. Then Music. Now you're going to get all of these different folders right here. I have zero, F01 to F49. I'm just going to click Control A, or on a Mac I think it's Command A, uh, or you could just select all the folders in here. Then you want to actually, uh, before you do that, you want to make a folder on your desktop. I'm just going to name it anything, so I'll call it Music uh, A, whatever. So then you want to do the Control A in here to select all these folders, and then drag and drop these folders into the folder that you created on your desktop. So do this. It'll then transfer all the songs that you have in your device to uh, this folder and you can see all the different folders that are now in here as well. So this, if you right click and hit properties, it should show a certain uh, size and that's how many songs you have. Currently, I only have one song in here and I'll explain why in a, in a few minutes once I uh, show you guys how to get the rest of this onto your iTunes. So now that you have all your songs into here, you want to then take this folder and drag and drop it. Actually, let me bring iTunes over to here really quick and minimize it just so you can all see what I am looking at. So I'm going to bring this over here. So here's my iTunes. I don't have any music in here currently because I turned off my iTunes match and that's what I use uh, for all my music. So I'm going to grab this Then you want to bring it into here and let go. And there you go. It will then add the songs into your library uh, from that folder. But now you want to make sure that this folder on your desktop never leaves or goes anywhere else. So you want to have it either on your desktop or somewhere else, say on a separate hard drive. Uh, but then when you link it to iTunes, it basically makes a shortcut to that song. So this song currently is shortcut uh, onto the desktop. So if I were to move this, I'll show you guys. If I move this into, say, my wallpaper folder up here, and then I try to play this song, it's going to say it can't be found, see? Because I then moved the original location of it. Because currently it's looking for the desktop folder, but it can't find it. So if I bring this, and then bring this music back onto the desktop, I can now play it. See, so it starts playing. That's why people were getting some issues with it not uh, registering all that stuff. You want to make sure that whenever you link the folder to iTunes, you want to make sure that it stays in that exact location that you linked it from. I hope that makes sense. It may be a little confusing for some of you, but uh, just follow me. If you have any questions, post comments down below. Uh, but again, I said before that I had three songs. So if you come back up here, I have three songs here, but only one song showed up. The reason for this is that some of them go into your purchased folder and not your regular uh, file system, media, iTunes control folder. So the way that you find your other songs is you go into iTunes control, go down to music again, but now scroll all the way down and you're going to find a uh, folder called purchases. 
Actually, you might not even need to go into music. Uh, yes, you do. I think you do. So either way, go down and scroll down to purchases. Let me uh, turn that off really quick. Go down to purchases, and you can see I have one, two, and then a third one down here. This one is just an import thing. This isn't actually a song. You guys will probably see that on yours as well. But these other two are also are my two songs that I'm missing. So if I were to take these two and do the same thing, drag them into my music A folder, it then copies it over. And if I scroll down, you can see my two other M M4A uh, files down there. So if I were to take this again and link it again, now all my songs show up. So that's basically how you get every song to show up in your uh, device that you can get off of your device. If you were to purchase some songs or you downloaded it through uh, iTunes Match or something like that and you want to get them back to your computer, you can do it this way. You have to go through the Purchases tab as well. So you want to make sure that you check in there for any songs that might have gotten placed in there instead of your uh, regular music directory. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like the please hit the like button down below if you do. It helps me out a ton. This is one of my most popular videos. Uh, I just want to make a really quick update to show you guys that you can still do it on the most recent update of Discade. Oh, and to get a registered version, I showed in my last video, but if you are in college and you have a .edu email, uh, you know, that you get from your university or your college, you can go to Discade's website and get a free version of Discade, fully registered. So you don't even, you don't even have to deal with it. So you can just go up into music and drag and drop these uh, and you'll have infinite uh, transfers if you have a registered version. This this uh, way is to get it so that you don't have to pay for it. You don't have to have a registered version. Uh, you can go through the all the little subfolders that you see in there. But if you want to get a registered version and you have a .edu college account, I'll have a link in the description for you guys to go register uh, for free and you guys can get a free registered version of Discade and uh, transfer all your music that way. So I hope you guys like this video. Please hit the like button down below. Post any qu uh, questions you have in the comments below as well. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Uh, make sure you guys look forward to all my new videos. I'm having a new video coming out for Techno Buffalo in the very close future. I think it's going to be within this week. It should be on my top five jailbreak tweaks. So make sure you, you guys uh, look forward to that and you uh, watch that as well. So once again, hope you guys like this video. I will see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.